I just thought I'd pop on and colour a fox with you today. Um, the weather had really changed here so it's really dark and dismal looking. But it's a great day for colouring. So I am using, if you want to look on the overhead, a Christmas Eve set 3 set of stamps from Two Red Robins. Um, by the time you're watching this they'll either have launched or they will be about to launch and I'll have been told that I'm allowed to share my samples. So as you can see from this um, set of stamps it's the Two Red Robins A Christmas Eve collection and it's got loads of beautiful animals and birds on it for um, seed and building. There's other stamps in the range that works nice with it but I'm going to keep them under my hat until later. So I'll tease you with them later. So what I've been doing is I've been colouring this little fox dude in. So that's him in black and white and here he is with some colour on him. Um, I'm not that happy with his eyes so I'll have to sort them but I like everything else so I thought I would come on and have a little colouring session with you. So no two foxes are the same obviously so it'll be the same while I colour no two foxes will bec become the same. So I have a selection of pencils here and pretty much all of them get used whilst colouring foxes. So what I do sometimes is I just do myself a little colour chart just so I can decide what pencils mm, like that one what to see what I prefer to use. So I have picked Yep, so I've picked four that I'm quite happy with and I am going to start colouring this fox. Now I picked four but there might be other ones that will come into the mix later. So what I do when I'm colouring it is I just tickle the paper, I put a very very light layer down and at this stage all I'm doing is plotting out my colour. Um, so I'm just shading with this lighter pencil very lightly as you can see and all the parts that I want to have coloured with ready brown. So this bit here is going to stay white at his cheek, his chest is going to stay white but I always like to put a little bit of um, shading in Sometimes I'll put grey in that as well and then down here it's going to be coloured so we can do that and in this bit here is going to be coloured so we'll colour that. So at this stage as you can see it's just a very light plotting out my colours so that I know where I want to go want this bit here as well and of course I want this bit of his tail to be a brownie colour and his legs up here will be brown, his rump will be this brownie red just sketching it in, not taking my time but taking it very light I apologise for any sounds that you'll hear. I get messages during the day quite a lot as I've said before in my YouTube channel so just excuse the bleeps and the pings and the... I should probably turn it all off but I never do. It's on all the time. So and we'll have a wee bit brown here. So that gives me a rough idea of where I want to put my browns. So I want to bring some brown into his eye at this stage. So I'll just colour his eyes with brown. I want this bit round here to be brown and I want this bit round here to be brown, this bit here and this bit here. 
So as you can see, it's very rough, it's very light. I've just plotted in the colour, plotted, popped, don't know. Anyway, so now I'm going to move on and I'm going to start bringing in my darker colours. And then this time what you'll see is I'll take much more time and I will just lightly bring in the colours. Slightly bolding up these colours, and as I've said before in my YouTube videos, I am self taught, I'm not an artist, I'm not saying that I'm the best colourist in the world, but I enjoy colouring so much and I like some of the results that I get, some of it ends up in the bucket. And I quite like the way I colour foxes. Foxes are one of my favourite animals. We are very blessed because we live um, in an area where we have woodland um, in front of us and very often we get foxes at night coming into the street so a lot of the neighbours feed them. So it's been quite funny over the years because we had one um, fox that we called um, Road Sweeper because his tail, his brush tail was like um, a big brush and he used to sweep the road as he walked. He was a beautiful fox. I'm not sure what's happened to him. I don't know if he's moved on or if we've just not seen him recently, but we haven't seen him for a while. And um, he used to sit at the garden gate and he used to make like a barky yippy noise. It was like yip, yip, yip. Really cute noise. And then he would sit looking up at the bedroom window because he knew that's where we used to watch him. And he knew that my husband used to watch him there. And then if my husband saw him, my husband would go out and give him some food. So he did this quite a few nights, which was really cute. He used to um, bark for my husband, so then he would run into the woods, because we never wanted him to be tame enough to eat our hand or anything. So he would run into the woods, just a little bit into the woods, and then he'd see what my husband put down, Kevin, as most of you um, might know him. Um, and he used to, <laughs> he used to um, wait till he got the food. The minute Kevin turned his back, not even in the house, sometimes him and Anya, would stand at the doorstep, and here's my blue barrel collie, in case I've got new viewers. They'd stand at the doorstep watching the fox eating whatever Kevin had put down for him. N not scared us in the slightest. Um, really cute fox. But we've, we've not seen him for a wee while, but we've had youngsters, and we've had a vixen that was heavily pregnant one time, so we helped her. Um, we get hedgehogs in the garden as well, which I really love. I was quite surprised with this collection because um, there is uh, hares and deer and rabbits and foxes on the collection. I didn't see a hedgehog, I don't know. I think two red robins do have a hedgehog, mm -hmm. just that they haven't put it on this collection. Um, but as you can see, I'm just building up my layers ever so lightly and just darkening parts and bringing the colour in. Um, and I'm using a variety of pencils because I've got quite a lot of pencils. I did do a pencil review for Stephanie. Um, so what I will have to do is do a YouTube video on it to let you know what pencils I tested and what pencils that I really like. And actually it's quite surprising because I, do, I know that the premium brands like your Prismacolor, um, a lot of colourists rave about Prismacolor. Now I, don't get me wrong, I like Prismacolor. Um, the lay down of the wax is really good, the pigment's really strong, but I don't actually like the feel of them in my hand. They're quite a thin pencil um, and they're just quite round and I'm not that keen on them. 
So my favourite that I've found so far is my Black Widow uh, set of pencils and they come in sets like for example this one is the Dragon set and this is Brown Brick but you get the Monarch you get which is like the big royal stag you get the Scorpion and the Black Widow Spider Tin and can't remember. Oh, you get skin tones as well, the dark and the light skin tones, um, and I really like them, and they're so affordable because you're, they're if you buy all of them together, you'd say that oh, that's quite expensive, but if you just buy each tin over a few few months, etc., they actually work out really reasonable. Apparently, they were made for a, a hospice or a hospital or something. Um, so you're actually helping by buying them you're actually helping to support that charity as well which is a really good thing to do so as you can see i've just yapped away and whilst i've been yapping away to y'all i've been putting down my color so i'm quite happy with this color I'll have to do a lot more to his wee head and things. I apologise if you're hearing any noises outside. It's a Saturday um, afternoon here and the kids are out playing etc. So you might be hearing a lot of playing around. Which I think it's lovely to hear the kids playing anyway. So... So as you can tell from my collection of pencils so far, that's been, that's darker. So I'm going to bring the darker down here into his legs. Um, because um, foxes have black at the bottom of their legs. So... I'm just doing that bring it in and this is a paw that's sitting behind so just do that one as well and then I'm doing this one but I'm only doing this one a little bit I'm just going to bring this one in like so now I want a wee shadow in there and I want to go back and why I've missed all this bit I don't know so we'll pop this bit in, like so. Now, I want some shadow. So what I'm doing is I like to bring in just a, this one's just a, they're called Superior Quality Black Lead Pencils. Um, they're just artist grade pencils for sketching. And this one's a 3B and I love to do this because I like bringing in a pencil just to give me some shading where I want to have shading um, and I do this a lot in my big colouring um, pictures as well and if you've been following me on YouTube you'll know that we also have a group, um, a new group which is called Colour and Friends United and that group was made um, so that we could bridge the gap between crafters and colourists and so far we've got about, well it's over 300 members and it's not been open long so I'm really quite pleased with how it's going and it's for all brands, all artists, all colour and um, we actually have a, which really should have finished yesterday but I've kept it going for quite a, a bit longer um, we also have the lovely Rina um, from Ukraine has actually given me permission to share some of our artwork in our group. So what I've done is I've set up a colour along challenge for the group. So what you do is there's an album in Colour and Friends United. So you go into Colour and Friends United and you... Um, get the picture that we're doing for this month we started it in September uh, sorry we started it in August and it's supposed to have finished yesterday but as I say I'm going to keep it going for another week um, 
excuse me, and what happens is you take the picture, then you can go away and colour it. Now, if you're not a colour pencil person, don't worry about that. You can colour it in any medium you want. You can. Um, the good thing about it is you can print it out on any paper you want. So you can watercolour it, gesso, play with gesso with it, paint it with distress inks, anything, you name it, you can do it, um, any colour. And then you, once finished, you pop it into the album in the group and um, we will be randomly picking somebody to win a little prize from us. Now I'm saying random because it's not about your ability to colour. So if you see that people are very good colourists and you don't feel you are, don't be put off with that because it's all inclusive. We want everybody to have fun and join in. And it doesn't matter what skill set you've got. It's just about having fun. So um, it would be nice if you wanted to pop along and play along with us. Um, also, if you do buy these stamps when they launch, um, or indeed have any two red robin um, stash, then feel free to share your makes in Craft Friends United and Colour and Friends United if you've coloured. And also, um, Steph has a group called Highlight Crafts. Um, Highlight Crafts or True Red Robins. I'm not sure. I can't remember. My memory is dreadful. But anyway, Kevin is very good because he always puts all the links in. So you'll find all the links in this video. Um, so feel free to pop along there as well and have some fun because we love seeing what you make. And I know Mel, Mel Heaton and Steph and Diane Petternell, um, there might be more people involved but I'm not 100% sure, but I know that they love to see all your makes as well. So, um, And it's a lovely group too, so that would be nice to see you there as well. And can I also ask, if you are new to the Noble Crafters YouTube channel, could you please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you know when there's any more videos goes on and I might be doing lives on there soon. Um, so please do follow us and if you would be kind enough to leave me a comment and it can be <laughs> good or bad, I don't mind criticism. So as long as you're kind, I don't I don't want <laughs> I don't want to be reading anything really horrible. So leave me a comment please. Um and if you have a different way of doing the fox and, and, I, and think that my way um, could benefit with your tips, then by all means, please leave me some feedback because as I say, I'm a novice at this. I'm just, I'm just winging it. I'm just loving colouring. Um, so I'm always grateful for any feedback I get. I'll ask Kevin if he likes what I've done and sometimes he'll say, well, you need shading here or you need a little bit more there or you need to um, di di get some of that off because it's too heavy. And it's good because it, it it's good. It's interesting to know what other people think because most crafters are very self-critical of their own stuff. Um, I know I am. I'm I'm dreadful. I'll look at things and I'm not I'm not liking it, so I'll rip it up. Um, and I get into trouble off my friends for that sometimes. But um, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist when it comes to colour and I want it to be perfect because I'll never have it perfect. But I like to... It has to be satisfactory to my satisfactions. Um, or I'll just get fed up and stop doing it. And this, as you can see, um, this fox is starting to take shape, but for all they are exactly the same foxes, this legs are a lot lighter than these legs. Um, this head is lighter than this head. So I, I don't think you ever do two things, unless you sit with the exact um, and you copy it exactly with all the pencils etc. 
um, but even at that I don't think you'd get it perfect because your pressure um, when your colouring changes I um, I use a very light pressure and build up the layers um, I don't sometimes I'm a bit more heavy handed but I found that it's better to build the layers up gradually and it depends what card you're using. This card is from Craftmasters. It's one of Stephanie Waitman's brands. Um, and I don't really know if it is meant to be for pencils. Um, the tooth isn't the best, actually. But it's kind of an all-rounder. It's super smooth. Um, it's a bit like the brick that Linda Chapman brought to Creative Crafting World. It's a bit like that one. Um, it's a good all-rounder, so I'm happy to be using using it for coloured pencils. Because as you can see, I've had about five layers on this, and it's starting to look nice. Um, and there's still there's still a lot of tooth left because I can see that there's white in it. Um, so that's what I'm trying to fill up. And with this fox, I have used. Crayola Colours of the World which are as cheap as chips actually but I quite like them because they're so cheap they're a hybrid they're between an oil and a wax so their point keeps sharper longer and that's really good for detail then my trusted dragon brown brick from my Black Widows Crayola Colour of the World again I use Crayola quite a lot in hair and skin and fur Castle Art Supplies and this one's for their soft series and then as I said my pencil so um, as you can see I don't stick to one brand I always um, like to it's the colours that I go for so it's not brands so I don't mind what brand I'm using when I'm doing colouring so um, I'm, I'm quite lucky because I've got a few brands here as you've probably seen, because I think Kevin shows on you my desk, which is full of pencils. <laughs> Brute Funers had a really good offer on. They were selling 520 pencils for £80. Um, in the Prime sale. Um, and I had to buy them, because my friend bought them. So I was like, I have to buy them. Thank God for the credit card. That's all I can say. So anyway, I bought them. And they're sitting over at the... Um, side of me um, and they're they're really good because they are um, a hybrid as well well actually no they're they're oil based sorry yeah so they're oil based so they're good as well because as I say um, with the cheaper ones as well they keep their point and I find the same happens when I use the um, brute funers they keep their point a bit longer and as you can see from my pencils I love my point to be really really sharp because I think that gets your your detailing now I'm liking this fox better than the first fox and that's basically because with the first fox um, I feel that I went in with pencil and a black and I feel that I've lost the detail in his legs so this time I've went in um, with browns, my sketch pencil and I've kept his legs a lot lighter than the previous one and I see the detail more so I'm actually preferring that. I am going to put a little bit black on it but I'm going to not be quite as heavy handed as I was with this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick like so. And I'm hoping that that gives the um, idea of fur. Just flicking it so you can see the flick lines. So I'm quite liking that better than this one as I said. Um, I've got quite a lot of wax bloom on this one as well. So I'll polish it off and see if it, it gets any better. And what I might do is bring a blending pencil into this one and blend it a bit better. So um, with blending pencils um, you can uh, 
blend coloured pencils with I'll just tell you in a sec let's get that a little bit so I'm just giving a little bit darker here just a bit shadow there we go yeah so with blending pencils so you get this this is a Thornton's colourless blending pencil and all the blending pencil does it's quite good it just um, makes you blend out your lines so it gives you a smoother look so I quite like I'll do it on this bit so you might see it better it doesn't put any colour down but it just blends it that much better so you can blend with that um, you can blend with mineral spirits so the likes of Zesta um, Gamsel, a lot of artists choose Gamsel and you can blend with that and also there was white pen on that so that won't blend properly and also what you can do is um, you can also get a burnisher this is Dermot burnisher and all this means is once you've finished all your colouring you can go over it with the burnisher and that just um, burnishes it and that means that you can't put any because you, you're pressing into it so then you can't put any more pencil down so you can use that I don't tend to use this I got I think I got these two together I don't tend to use this no I wouldn't have I would have got a blending pencil with this I don't know anyway I don't tend to use this one because um, I prefer if I'm burnishing when I'm, once I'm finished, I forgot which fox I was doing there um, I prefer just to use a lighter colour and that does the same job um, for that oh that was quite funny, I forgot what fox I was trying to work on and that's the other thing I'll do I'll work on this fox for example and then I'll maybe look at this fox and I'll say hmm I would prefer to have a wee bit more depth in here so I'll go back to them and that's exactly what I'll do I'll go back to them so that's another reason why I don't like to burnish my, my work because I like to be able to not quite happy with that shade and so I'll go back to it and I do and I do a wee bit more like so excuse the messages coming in I'm um, very blessed because I'm popular on social media and I get a lot of messages from friends so I'm really blessed um, it's good it helps because I don't get out as much as I used to due to health so it really does help so anyway back to this little boy or girl I'm not quite sure so now I'm quite happy with that I'm just wanting to bring a little bit more black into this one's legs just a little bit here so black can be quite harsh so I don't like using black all the time sometimes I'll use a dark blue and then pop a black over the top and you get a really nice shine doing it that way so there we go um, and as you can see I always work on a bit of paper and that's basically something that I've always done because of alcohol markers I've always done it but with this um, colour and it's good because then I can scribble to make sure that the colours that I've picked up are what I'm looking for so I don't make mistakes so you'll see me do that quite a lot as well so the artist has already put these lines in for you so here all I'm doing is just using them just to add a little bit of shadow into the fox um, is white bits and I sometimes will bring in a white pencil and just do a little bit of colouring as well into this bit here and I quite like the Crayola white pencil um, because again as I say it keeps sharp and you're not really seeing anything when I'm doing this but I just know that I've added a little bit white into his chest uh, like so and sometimes instead of using the um, colourless blender when I'm blending you'll see me sometimes use the white just to blend in 
because it's it's good for blending. So I'm quite happy with the colour of this fox. He's different from the last one that we did, but that's good. Let's bring a little bit in here, a little bit to tidy up here. Now his eyes. So we've got a little bit brown in his eyes. So I'm just leaving a bit white. Like so. There we go. Just giving these features a little bit more depth and you'll see me sometimes I do flicks sometimes I do circles it just depends what I'm what I'm trying to achieve the depth and I'm quite happy oh my head wasn't in the way there sorry I'm quite happy how this little fella is looking um, what I will do is I will bring a bit of white pen in. and so you can see there are different shades um, this one looks richer than this one they're just different shades and what I do is I bring a little white pen in um, and I just put a little dot in his eye and a little line on his nose just to make it look a bit um, as if there's some light on it. With this one, you won't see it but maybe, but with this one I actually white penned his whole breast. Um, but I'm not going to do it with this one because I wasn't actually that keen on the way it looked. Um, I'm saying I'm not going to do it but there's a bit here that's annoying me so I'm just going to give this bit here a little clean up. So. I will end up putting a little bit of pen on here and that's good because as you can see sometimes depending on the pencils you use um, sometimes you'll get a little bit of pencil dust where you don't want it so if you've got a white pen or you can just use a, a, a razor and um, take it out that way but the white pen does it as well um, I'll just put a wee bit of white pen on his tail, just bring it out a bit and that's just a Posker pen that I'm using to do that. So I'm thinking that I prefer that fox to this fox and I've got another fox here that I'm going to colour as well but I won't do that one on camera. Um, I'm not so sure that I'm liking this bit here. Oh. So, if you're not happy with something, it's good pencils rub out. So, this is just a Thai who it's off Amazon, um, and you get lots of um, little oops, lots of little spare erasers that you can put in. And I actually made a mistake and bought two, so um, this one's got a very thin eraser in. You just pull them out and um, just open this up a bit and then just do that and you can get your eraser out. Um, but they are good. They've got little, little bits with them. So just pop that one in there. So I just do that because I've got the two of them for laziness because I don't have to then um, change my heads very often. So yep. So basically quite happy with that. So basically that's my two little foxes um, and I hope that you found this video and um, interesting and that you will come back and see what else that we're, we've got to show you 
Um, I'm trying to do a lot more videos because I want to grow our YouTube channel. Um, so if I could stop saying M it would be good but I keep on saying M, 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 M. So I apologise for that if it's getting on your nerves. So yeah, I think they look quite good. So I've got I've got a few animals to do. I've got a little hair to do. Um, I've got a few in here that I have to do. I've got some deer as well, and this is all about making up scene, scenes. So I will be playing with that. I made this little card earlier. Um, so I wasn't sure what these were to begin with, but they're honeysuckle. So I made this card um, with the kingfishers and the honeysuckle. Um, I see there's a mark on there, so I'll probably put gems on it. So that was actually quite fun to make. Um, it's a real challenge actually colouring in animals because I've not done a lot of animals. I've done foxes a few times. Um, so trying to <laughs> trying to do all these different animals is a bit of a challenge, but it's a fun challenge. So and a, a, another tip that I actually do, um, you'll see me quite often. I have a basket here and. I keep all the pencils that I've been working on the foxes with, I keep them in there so that I um, I know that if I come back and I'm uh, readdressing the fox and I think mm, I'm not so keen on this or I'm not so keen on that, I just can go to my pencils because they're all here. I don't know why that yellow's there though. Um, so that's quite good. And I've also picked out, because I'm going to be doing the hair next, I've picked out a group of pencils that I think might work. And I just do that with, by, um, oh, oh they're here. So I just do that just by scribbling on a bit of paper. I have got a, I've showed you before, I have got a, um, a notepad um, that I use and I'll write down like for example the fox and I'll write down that I've used um, Crayola Colour of the World and this is Deep Rose so I'll, I'll do a little chart for myself just like a little squash chart and then write that that was Crayola blah 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 um, so that's quite interesting doing that as well to keep your colour schemes so you know if you're doing another fox and you want to use the same colour schemes you can do that so um, so that's a good idea while I'm here I'm not happy with this bit either so as you can see it's it's really good because if you're not happy um, with bits that you've done you think mm, that's a bit too heavy handed. All you need to do is go back um, and address it with the eraser so that's better and I've got a wee bit grey there just to show the white a bit um, so yeah I think that's better I'm not I might, I might do something with the legs because I'm not 100% happy with them but I am happy with this one um, so yeah I'm rabbiting on a bit more so I think we'll leave it at that and I'll thank everybody for watching and I will be back with more videos because I have got some interesting projects in mind I bought these little Muslim bags uh, Muslim that's not right Muslim <laughs> Oh, I'm not even editing it. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. So I bought these little bags. Um, so they're a bit like cheesecloth as well. So I'm thinking I might stamp on them and see what happens. Um, and I've got some lavender that I'm thinking about popping in them. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you got a wee giggle from that. Um, pronunciation of the wrong word. Oh, Anya's just popped in to say hello. We will get her on camera one of these days. <laughs> okay, thanks everybody for watching. Please do subscribe and leave me a comment if you want to. Um, speak to you all soon. Bye. <laughs>